What's up, my sweethearts? What it do? You already know. It's your girl, Jennifer M. Norellis. Get your lights it's all the way up, my sweethearts. My sweethearts, my real sweethearts, I hear y'all. I see y'all, and I hear y'all. So, you know what? We're going to run this thing like cardio. My sweethearts, get your lights all the way up. Because, yep, your girl Gray go in and dug walk Bree Bree. Like I told you, my sweetheart, no, she's not exempt. So what we great do is run down the statement of snake Bree Bree, okay? Get in front of the tube and let your girl run this thing like cardio. So like I said, we're going to dug walk this. We're going to dug walk one of this is a This is one of the snakes. One of many of the snakes. So, my sweetheart, okay, two detectives are uh, conducting an interview, all right, on September the 12th, 2017, with this girl, approximately 12, 20 hours, okay? The interview was conducted at, at the residence, okay? Let's see the buff. I oh, won't even know the residence and none of that stuff. All right, so let's just get into it, my sweetheart. The interview stated... All right, the following is a summary of the interview. Stated, she has been friends with Kanika Jenkins for approximately six years, my sweethearts. On 08 of September 2017, she had, it's a, it's, it don't say nothing, it say Anne had plans to attend a hotel party for, and it got Ann Killer's birthday, at the Crown Plaza. Okay, my sweethearts? Because I guess they taking certain words and not putting it in there. It say they how, uh, what time they arrived. I ain't interested. All right, I see the time. All right. Prior to getting to the hotel, they picked up a Bluetooth speaker for the party. Alcohol. Large bottle of Hennessy Cognac. Okay. They picked up the, the, uh, the Henny. Because I know one of my sweethearts asked me, Jennifer M. Norellis, um, who provided the drinks. So, as y'all see, they picked up their own drinks, okay? They picked up the Henny. But as, as they coming in, my sweethearts, you can see, um, you know, uh, Kanika, Shemaya. I mean, Kanika, Shemaya, Monif and all. But my point is, they got a bag. They got their own drink. So, that's, you know, that's here, there. They do have their own drink. Okay? They don't know exact size from a liquor store near intersection. Okay. To be Franklin, food and liquor and cannabis. After picking up the aforementioned items, the group headed towards the Crown Plaza Hotel. Once they arrived at the hotel, they called Irene to ask about parking. Told them to charge parking to room 926. Kanika was nervous about doing this. Because a sign for the hotel stated a lost parking ticket is a $200 fee. Then after that, it said after contacting, um, I guess Irene, Kanika parked in the rear of the hotel and the group entered through a rear entrance. The group went upstairs to room 926 and members and remembers the following people who are in the room at this time. All right, so it says sisters, friends, later identified, legal name believed to be, later identified as, and they got nephew, Mike Mike, killer, as possible for, as possible one other guy, unknown name, shortly after getting to the room. I'm reading that fast, my sweetheart, because that ain't too much and nothing that I really care about. I informed some people. Are also speculating that audio from the live video suggests Kanika was sold for two hundred dollars. Stated Kanika was talking about how she didn't want to pay two hundred for parking at the hotel if it didn't work out. Charging to the room. Stated no sexual activity was occurring inside the hotel room during the party. Note: photographs of the parking sign were taken and attached to this report. The sign states lost tickets. Okay. Also stated Kanika was sad because her boyfriend recently went to jail. Okay, I'm going to say this right now. That right there, that's why I'm slowing up. That right there, okay, try to state that Kanika was sad because her boyfriend recently went to jail. 
I don't believe that. Now, I ain't going to say Kanika wasn't sad, but let me tell y'all something, my sweethearts. And this is some real shit. Kanika boyfriend came home the day after Kanika died. The day after Kanika died, he came straight home. So, all that Kanika was saying or whatever, because uh, I don't believe she was saying in there. You know what I'm saying? In there, in there. The shit trying to say, oh no, Kanika was real sad. Nah, I don't believe that. That girl was chilling on that bed because I heard her. Like chilling, just chilling like everybody else. And she probably, you know what? And if she was sad, her boyfriend recently went to jail because he probably would have saved her from guys pushing up on her. So, yeah, she, you know what? If she was sad, that's probably why. Because she wouldn't have never died in the hotel if her guy was there. Because he wouldn't let no guys push up on her. Or would he? And this say, um, was sad because her boyfriend recently went to jail at one point during the live video. And then it say, it don't have no name, it say, told Kanika to relax and have fun. Kanika responded by saying that she was having fun. That's Monifa she talking about. Monifa is the one who kept on saying, I just want you to have fun. I want you, and Kanika got smart with her. So what y'all saying that for? Because Kanika got smart, like, I am having fun. And that's what Kanika said. It was Monifa that was all in our face. Have fun. Have fun. Bree Bree, I don't know why you brought that up. Because when she was saying that, you was over there in our ring. But when Kanika was over there defending herself from Monifa, telling her to have fun. Have fun. When the guys was over there, you're trying to go. Uh, sounding like some bums. You was over there with our ring. So how would you really know? And that's truth. You was right there with Irene. Looking scurry. So Kanika responded by saying that she was. And that's true. She said it to Monifa Snake Butt. So next it says stated the live video was taken at the beginning of the hotel party. Before most of the people showed up. Okay, we seen that clear as day. Stated Kanika was not in any harm or danger during the live video. So was she was in harm or danger after the live video? Stated the people who were in the room during the live video were friends of Kanika. Basically, I think the live video, when we seen Irene... Uh, Monifa, and we heard a sneaky slithering guys, my, uh, my sweetheart, I guess that's when she supposed to have been in the room doing a live video with, with friends. Y'all friends? Y'all call yourself friends? Okay, you missing me. After the live video stated the following people showed up at the party, and they got, they don't have nobody name, they don't have nobody name. It's a first name, unknown. You know they ain't going to put that. And it's a four or five females who showed up later. Identified as they won't give you the name. So, yeah, this, this police report is crazy. Won't give you no names. Stated she left the party at approximately 0215 or 0230 hours with, and then they don't say nothing. It's a stated Needed a GPS to go pick up her friends, and she did not have a GPS on her phone. So it's they talking about Bree Bree. Bree Bree stated she left the party approximately 0215 or 0230 hours with she left with someone and stated. She needed a GPS to go pick up her friends, and she did not have a GPS on her phone. Left with, they don't say, so could use GPS. That's, I'm not slow. It's saying, okay, so it's saying who she left with. It's saying Bree left with, or whoever she left with, so she, that had a phone, because she needed a GPS to pick up her friends. And brought back to the hotel. Now, I'm confused, my sweethearts. I hope y'all can roll with me because, like I said, it's not one name on here, okay? 
I'm not slow. Bree Bree left the party, right? Okay, so she needed a GPS to go pick up her friends, right? I thought Bree Bree had Kanika phone. See? And, and then, then, then it go back to Kanika phone is in the room. Kanika phone is with... See, that's why I dug walk these fake friends. Kanika phone is everywhere but with Kanika, right? Right. All right. Who is you to go pick up your friends in Kanika car? Who is you to go pick up other girls and stuff? You go drop. I mean, well, Kanika drop herself off, but you y'all at the hotel. You go jump in her whip. You go and leave. You left with so you could use their GPS. So I want to hear you need a Kanika GPS and none of that. So now these friends. You picked up. It say pick up her friends with no name and brought back to the hotel. Now you pulled the picked up mysteriously some friends and brought them back to the hotel. All right. Now in parentheses it say and her friends did not stay at the hotel. And her friends did not stay at the hotel. So you went to go get friends, but they didn't even stay at the hotel? Then my sweet also say stated she sent two text messages to Kanika on her way back to the hotel at approximately 0303 hours. So basically, Bree Bree, you just skedaddling all around. You wasn't even like basically in the party. You just making all these runs. You miss miss a picker upper. You picking everyone up. These friends that you must couldn't have tell, told Kanika about when Kanika picked y'all up. I don't want to hear the, the car was too packed. No, y'all would have sat on top of each other. So you went and got more friends. So my thing is, Kanika was messed up when it was time to go home. What y'all was going to take all those girls home and then Kanika? This is crazy. You were just picking everybody up in her mother car. Straight back, straight up. Then you sent two text messages to Kanika on her way back to the hotel at approximately 0303 hours. One message stated, I'm 10 minutes away. And one message stated, in is smacks there. So basically, you asked for a guy. Kanika did not respond to your messages. And it say Kanika did not respond to the messages, my sweetheart. <coughs> so this girl, 0303 hours, she already would text Kanika. Kanika wasn't even responding to her. I don't care if they had her phone in there. I don't care about nothing. She wasn't responding. All right. Okay, you get that, my sweetheart? Zero, um... Alright, so Kanika did not respond to the text messages. Alright? So now, it says stated, she returned to the hotel at approximately 0310 hours. Upon returning to the room, stated there were about 20 more people who showed up to the party, including... Kanika's cousin, Winky. Later identified as Wayne. Alright. Smacks. Legal name believed to be. Okay. Alright. Alright. Now this got cocky. Legal name to be as uncle. I mean, Ann's uncle legal name to be. Okay. Now this says she... This is crazy, because I don't like how a guy that stated she noticed. Who stated? Bree Bree stated she noticed Kanika was gone when she got back to the room. Do y'all hear that, my sweetheart? Okay. Then they don't have nothing else but a print, my sweetheart. And they got saw Ann in the room and asked them about Kanika at this time. So, basically, Bree Bree. Bree Bree got in there and formed, um... 
stated she noticed Kanika was gone. Because they don't got no names. But we not slow. It's, it's Bree Bree. When she got back to the room. Bree Bree saw. It just got. Saw and in the room and asked them about Kanika at this time. So basically she acting like she asking them about Kanika. And informed that Kanika was missing. Are you serious? So that girl texted. Now this is where something at. This is where something suspicious that must be all. Now, they friends, everybody friends, Irene, Bree Bree, Kanika, Monifa, Shamaya, all them. Now, when Bree Bree was texting that phone, why couldn't nobody text Bree Bree, Bree Bree back and say, we missing Kanika? You heard me? Because it say Kanika was gone when she got back in the room. She saw... Well, it's a saw Anne in the room and asked them about Kanika at this time. So she's asking them, where's Kanika? So you telling me when you went back in the room, Monifa, Shamaya was in there? Because at this time, I want to know what Monifa did, right? That's why I'm slowing it up. Monifa picked her up off the bed. When she got, when Bree Bree got back in there, Kanika was already gone off the bed, out the room, was gone, right? Okay, so now Monifa, you ain't telling her where she at at all? And she asking them at this time where Kanika. They informed Kanika was missing. So now, and stated they walked out of the hotel room with Kanika and realized they did not have Kanika's cell phone or keys Okay? That's the excuse they just gave her. They just told her they they took Kanika out the room, but they realized they didn't have cell phone or keys. Now, remind y'all, Bree Bree just came in from outside. She ain't see Kanika downstairs. That's why I'm slowing this up, my sweethearts. Bree Bree did not see Kanika downstairs. She would have bumped into her or something. Because at this point, Kanika not even in the room when she texts her back. So when she coming through them double doors, them front doors, texting Kanika, and Kanika not texting her back. Kanika is already down there where you at, Bree Bree. As allegedly, they suppose they had allegedly dropped her off at the front desk. You know, just at the front. Okay. Wait a minute. All right. So now. Them back inside the room as they were searching for her phone and keys. Now they in there act like they searching for phone and keys. Phone and keys. Uh, this is crazy. Stated they began searching for Kanika at approximately 30330. I was on 9th of September. Stated she was walking around with, and they don't have nothing else. And as they were searching for Kanika, it says stated PZ and the females who showed up with also helped look for Kanika. Stated they walked up and down stairwells, bathrooms, and throughout the hotel for Kanika. Call Kanika's mother at approximately, you already, we already know what time they, she got a call. And asked if Kanika was at home. Said no and told her. Now see, this is a lie right here, my sweetheart. I'm slowing this up. She trying to say when they called Miss Teresa and asked if Kanika was home. That's not what Miss Teresa said. Miss Teresa said they called her and said they lost Kanika. That's what Miss Teresa said. So, which one is a lie? At approximately 0400 on September 9th, 2017, and asked if Kanika was at home. Miss Teresa said, they called and said that, they, that you know, they missing her. Because she said, please don't leave my baby. Please don't leave my baby. That's what Miss Teresa said. So, now it said, like Miss Teresa said, no, and told her Kanika was not missing. Wait a minute, my sweetheart, let me slow up. And asked if Kanika was at home. It said it, it don't say no name. It just say said no and told her 
Kanika was not missing. Stated they continued searched. Searching until approximately 0500 or 0600 hours. They called back and informed her Kanika was missing and they could not find her. Then drove Miss Teresa vehicle back to her residence. Same vehicle, Kanika drove to the hotel, must be honest. And this don't make no sense. All right, then it's saying she stated she was unsure how much Kanika drank because she left the party with, and they don't say nothing, they don't say no name, and it's saying Aunt Kanika was gone when she returned. I know what it's probably Monifa. Then it got stated people were drinking and smoking weed at the party. I asked if any other drugs were present. Stated there was probably people with ecstasy pills at the party. Because it is common in their circle of friends that people take ecstasy. I'm going to tell you right now, my sweethearts. It's a couple of lies in here. For real. And then listen to this. It say Bree Bree stated she was close with Kanika and is very ups upset about her death. She stated she is afraid to attend any of the funeral service for Kanika because she has received several death threats. I explained to Blank that a thorough investigation is underway and her name would be clear if that's what the investigation revealed. My sweetheart, this Bree Bree. Let me tell you something about her. It's two things about her. If she did have a whiff of what was going on in that party and she knew people was being sneaky and people was doing some sneaky stuff, I'm going to keep it real. That's exactly why she can't even be running around. That's probably why she kept running out, acting like she has stuff to do, picking up people. Because I'm going to tell you right now, my sweethearts, once you're at a, at a party, a club and stuff, you don't leave your friends to go pick up no one. No one. That's stuff y'all do before you get to a party. Come deep. Come less or whatever. Bree Bree is hella sneaky. That's why I think she cried the most. She cannot hold her water. Do I think she probably found out what happened? Yeah. I think she found out what happened or heard details about what happened to Kanika. Straight up. Because let me tell you right now, the drinking and smoking grass and ecstasy pills, this nothing new to these girls. They were they've been doing this. So that that did not get her impaired like that. No. No. She was really roofy, drugged. Yeah, she really was. Because you heard the, the guys, they said she can drink. All of them, they can drink. This is nothing new. Mmm. Then I don't want her trying to blame it on. I don't know how much Kanika drank because she left the party with, um, um, with, and the only person she left the party with was Monifa. Monifa picking up, picking her up off of a bed like she got the four one one. Hey, bring the culprit down. Okay, I have a what? Like you the morgue. That's exactly what this feel like. They everybody chilling, having a party. Somebody got the 411 call. Uh, bring it on down. Okay. Goodness. Bree Bree, the one screaming and crying all over the place. You can like, okay. You looking guilty. You start running around picking everybody up. Maybe you could have watched uh, uh, Monifa tap her and take her out. Maybe that. One more thing. A uh, real fast about something else I want to say. Now she stated that um, they was threatening her. She don't want to go to the funeral. Why are they threatening you and not Monifa? Why Monifa could go to the funeral? Real stuff. Monifa touched her. 
Why can Monifa be shown be uh be seen at the funeral and Bri Bri can't be seen? Why they want Bri Bri and not Monifa? Straight up. Monifa failed and Monifa picked up. There's a lot of things Monifa did to that girl. Monifa is guilty. So why would they threaten Bree Bree and not Monifa? That don't make sense. Monifa definitely out of Bree Bree. Monifa will be the one. And this is the reasons right here, my sweethearts. I'm not giving up on these friends and things like that because these statements. These statements. This, just these statements, it's just different. It's different. These don't sound like no real concern, six-year, 12-year friendships. It don't. Then when they had Bree Bree, she just was screaming and crying. Then she tried to kill herself, my sweethearts. She tried to take herself out. Why you try to kill yourself? And this is on, she was on live doing it. But when the whole case started, she started trying to take herself out. So they was like, Bree Bree, uh, when they came in there to lock her up, when they came in there to get her so they can go in there and question her, she act like she wanted to kill herself. For what? You ain't telling me nothing didn't happen to your home, girl. If you sitting up there trying to commit suicide, that's a lot, trying to commit suicide. You know how some, you know how serious something have to be before for a person to commit suicide. Mm mm. My sweetheart, yeah, your girl just wanted uh run these run these um statements down again. My sweethearts, I don't like them. They don't sound too good. They're sneaky. If you keep going over them, you will find like the lies in these. Bree Bree, you conniving. it. How you at a party, you doing a lot of running around, you look like you the setup girl. Real stuff, Bree Bree. I'm not even being funny. You running around, you picking everybody up, you acting like you setting stuff up. You down there running through the halls. I'm just being uh slick on that. You running through downstairs, you running through outside, you in the parking lot, you handling tickets, you handling this, you hand are you security? Straight up, are you security? Y'all ain't gonna tell me no ecstasy pills made Kanika act like the way she looked it like she was acting. Ecstasy pills to get you high, horny. Like that type of stuff. Y'all really was acting like this girl was doing stuff that y'all don't do on a regular. That's how I know some other things happen. I know some other things happen. That's how I know y'all was playing around with it. That's how I know y'all lured her down there. Making it seem like it was okay. And like I said, if she walked down there, whatever she did, she didn't come back. And all her friends is going to hear this, get this work. Because all y'all got some guilty tendencies. I don't care. All y'all. All y'all straight up guilty. All y'all. All y'all. Then it got, it didn't the title say it got 12 people in custody when they was uh doing the interviews, my we all twelve people. That's impossible in depth, you know, of, of the Kanika case. Twelve people that they got, you know, that could be involved, but didn't lock nobody up. For real. This is crazy. And I know people, I'm in, like I said, I'm gonna keep blaming the 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 friends, the friends in John. And the reason why I keep dugging Mo Nifa is because when you look out here at pictures. When you look out here at the families, all I see is Monifa and Kanika. Monifa and Kanika. Monifa at that girl house. Monifa breaking bread with her, eating with her, uh, sleeping with her. They be spending the night in all. Monifa. Not Kanika and Bree Bree. Did I see? So yeah, if you can come spend the night with my daughter... Break bread with my daughter. Act like you my daughter friend. You can act like you are friend behind my back. Shucks. 
Man, that's just why I can't hate going in, 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 in on this case, my sweethearts. For real. These snakes. These ain't the only snake friends out here. And I be trying to put that justice out there so everybody can be aware of the sneak, the snakes and the conniviness. Shucks. So, my sweethearts, yes, it's, something, it's bad that Kenika had to endure all this, all the pain that she went through. And I do believe she went through pain. And that's just allegedly, in my opinion, I believe she went through pain. Uh, 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 went through being afraid. Uh, got a fight for her life. It looked like to me. It just looked like it. I don't care. Looked like the girl was fighting for her life. And that's why I say I don't understand how when someone can see this. Like, we got more hearts than the corona because uh they, they straight on ruled it out. We got more hearts than the, uh, the whoever seen her, the police. We did. Because they quickly ruled it out an accident. Something like that, I would have to wait weeks, you know, because it's getting to me. And I have to really try to thoroughly rule that out. And they ruled it out as an accident. So all these statements that these girls was giving, it, it wasn't enough. It was not enough because they would not have ruled this out as an accident. Just the body alone. And then if you don't want to go with the by the statement alone, the statements you heard. What I heard, uh, Bri Bri, Irene, and Monifa acting like they doing is fighting about who was who was the one saying, oh, wait, where, where, where Kanika? Where she at? Oh, y'all gone? Y'all this? Like, you're, you're like, no one touched her. That's what it sound like to me. She been looking for your friend. This wouldn't have happened. My sweethearts, like always, it's your girl Jennifer. I'm the realest. I will dub walk these friends for hours and hours and decades of hours because they are wrong and I'm going to do them wrong. But please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified, my sweethearts. And yeah, we was going over the friends reports because something just not right. There are lies in these reports. And I'm and I'm breaking them down. Like always, I love y'all. Step, stay blessed, stay real, my sweethearts. And it's your girl Jennifer from the Relics, and I'm out.